last 24 hours among them was HDIL. Uh, that uh, actually is a, a stock which uh, stock and a set of numbers uh, which have disappointed. Let's uh, invite uh, the management. We are joined by Hari Prakash Pandey, Vice President Finance of the company. Uh, well, uh, uh, you have recognized uh, TDR sales of about 3 lakh square feet uh, this quarter. Uh, how much uh, did you sell and how much is still left? What is your plan for this quarter, Mr. Pandey? Thank you, Lata. Uh, uh, obviously, the, the Q3 was weak mainly because we follow a project completion method of accounting. So other than TDR, no other projects got completed during the quarter. As far as the TDR to be sold in this quarter, we, we maintain a guidance of around uh, 3 to 4 lakh square feet every quarter, which we are selling. And I think uh, even in the fourth quarter, the similar numbers would be achieved. Um, Mr. Pandey, can you just highlight uh, what exactly was the impact of demonetization for you all this quarter? More granular details? Uh, in terms of the income book, it's more of a, the TDR sales which we recognized in the third quarter. But as I said that uh, since we follow project completion method of accounting and we are the only real estate companies in listed space, our quarterly earnings are never comparable actually. And we see for next three, four quarters, because we don't have any major projects to get completed, the only income which will get recognized is from the TDR sales. Okay. Uh, well, uh, can you tell us ab about your debt itself? There was a lot of talk that you will be selling some land parcels near Mumbai. Uh, is there any uh, thing that you are close to announcing that we could hear in this fiscal itself? Uh, as far as the FSI sales is concerned, uh, in our project in Virar, uh, we are potentially in discussion with a couple of developers, but we have not been able to achieve any financial closure as of now. Uh, but uh, what we have decided now, because there is so much focus on affordable housing, mm. we have launched our own brand called Budget Homes, mm. okay. in which uh, we, are, we are planning to sell around 500 apartments in Bombay. Uh, under a price range of less than 50 lakhs rupees, which includes all your stamp duty and registration. Mm. And outside Bombay, uh, uh, in Virar, we are starting at less than 20 lakhs rupees. So that's the new vertical of affordable housing which we are starting. Uh, mostly from the next month onwards, we'll start the launch of those projects. Uh, but as far as the FSI sale and the land parcel sales are concerned, we are in discussion, but we have not been able to close any transaction as of now. Okay. Uh, Mr. Pandey, just a quick word on this, these budget homes. When are the projects going to come up uh, in the Mumbai region? And what might the realizations be? Uh, the first project is going to come up in Mulun. Uh, it's approximately 500 apartments. The project is already uh, more than 70% constructed. And the realizations typically would be around 35 to 40% in the affordable housing range for us. Uh, you know, Mr. Pandey, it's not as if it is a one-off Q3 uh, that your uh, revenue fell by 65%. I'm looking now at the nine-month. That's also down about 30%. Uh, what do you think you will do in terms of a yearly run rate? And uh, uh, is this a, a desperate scene of no demand and therefore should we expect uh, uh, realtors to cut prices? No, Lata, as I said, that uh, there was no project which was due for completion. In All the nine months? Yeah, there was no project. So, uh, we are basically, we have four main residential projects which are all getting completed in 2018. Mm -hmm. So, the only revenue which we recognize during the quarters are the TDR sales. Yes, where it has been impacted us on demonetization is the pre-sales. But normally for us, the pre-sales doesn't matter because there's no threshold of revenue recognition linked to pre-sales. But yes, the pre-sales in third quarter were significantly lower, and we have seen at least 45 to 50 percent decline in pre-sales. And even in the fourth quarter, it has slightly improved, but mostly in an affordable housing segment. Okay. You know, you said you will bring your debt down to 2,000 crore by end of uh, FY17. Uh, that is a distance away now. Uh, you have uh, uh, over 2,600 crore of debt. Uh, will you, uh, are you changing your guidance uh, if you can update on the Palghar Ghatkopar land sale? Uh, as far as the debt is concerned, if you look last one year from December 2016 uh, uh, to now, we have reduced our debt by around 10%. From 3,100 crores, we are down to 2,800 odd crores. Uh, we still maintain a guidance that we will be below 2,500 crores 
uh, by the end of March 2017. And as far as the Palgar project is concerned, uh, we would be recognizing the revenues in the fourth quarter. And uh, the Ghatkopa, which is a Pantnagar project, as I said, that we are already in discussion, but we have not been able to close out any transactions. Okay. okay. Thank you very much, Mr. Pandey, for joining us with those details.